<laughs> you look at his right nipple, he's hairy. Well, that, it's just started recording, as you said, look at his hairy nipple. <laughs> yeah. Gordon says it's a piercing. I think. Oh. <laughs> oh, <interesting. laughs> I wouldn't know about those sort of things. <laughs> oh. Is that that one's Chrissy's <laughs> from last oh, week? Lovely. Good. Yeah. Only a little canvas, mm. isn't it, Chris? No, uh, A4. Mm. Oh. I love the all the texture of the leaves on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's really good. Oh, Gordon. Yeah. I can't hang on. Green. Sticker right in the middle. <laughs> We're getting away from this green. Yes, please. <laughs> you said. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure next week has definitely not got any in. There's a little bit of green on there. A little bit of grass. Gordon. <laughs> I've what, got what? a label in front of what? these pictures. I can't see the pictures. Sorry, I can't. Sorry, it's like I can't reach it. From... Oh, right. I can't control mouses. Oh. <laughs> I'll hang on until the technical wizard. Sorry. Wizard <laughs> to... <That's it. laughs> that was Gordy. He threw mm. that one at me last night. That's good, That's yeah. He's special. Mm. The water's in here, love. Mm. He's drinking. Done a good job there, isn't it? Great. Yeah. Was he? Yeah. Oh, well done. For me, the hard bit was the um well the headlights. Because yeah. they're trying to get them to look three-dimensional or not like now I've looked at Gordon's, they look cartoony, you know? Mm. They look like eyes. <laughs> you can't mm. get you see see stuff like that. It's really difficult. But it's deliberate, isn't it? Yeah. They designed mm. it. The mouth is designed like that. Mm. Weird. That's a bigger version. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, I love it. Mm. Yeah, the background's good on that. Mm. Yeah. Was that was that King film? Yeah. It, does. it looks, looks like it, doesn't it? It's very yeah. effective. <laughs> That's what I, my suggestion, wasn't it, was I was doing it. Oh, got the um, <coughs> the emblem right on the uh, looks good on on the um, on the bonnet. On the bonnet, um, yeah. Oops, brought that out really well. You think they'd be on repair, but people do do them. Joyce has done one. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Ones. And I, I, I included that because it's a theme and, and they all yeah. have characters. Yeah. And last week's uh, is Belinda, Belinda Belair. Brilliant. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. I love it. Mm -hmm. Apart from the green. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look very rusty. <laughs> oh no, definitely not. Could, no. be a, could be a character out of Stranger Things, couldn't it? Yeah, kind of looks like it's oh, just nice. going out of the picture. Yeah. <laughs> not everyone's watched Stranger Things, but no, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a fantasy science fiction thingy, pretty yeah. popular. Yeah. And that was the other one, wasn't it, Joyce? That was that mm. was yeah. Oh, yes. for reality now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to write another story. <laughs> <laughs> they do they do yeah. these cars though, don't they? They they have that feel to them that there's a there's a book around them or there's a yeah something about them. Yeah, I, th I think I like the personality theme, you know. Yeah. They well, are they've got personality, they got past, they got present, and to a degree they've got future as well, because people take them mm -hmm. and build them up. And bring them back to life mm. or you yeah. need spare bits off them to fix other cars so hmm, yeah. sounds quite profound for me what time is it mm. yeah. oh, it's a watch. yeah it's lovely thank you yes. i've definitely decided that i try and do mine two photographic change biscuits i think you oh, know yeah. i try and copy the picture to the last leaf and it's, yeah yeah it's too much. I must uh, 
Our yeah. Paul has stuck to the theme. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Drawing was the hard bit. Even if you oh. trace the outline, it was still a nightmare. Yeah, I must admit, I traced the outline in that one. <laughs> Well, that was just, yeah, I did as well. Just no, there's you, you've got to get it a little bit right. Can't see mine. Mm. I was going to say all I've done is drawn it. Yeah. That's as far as I've got. Uh. <laughs> I started to to draw it with a, using a grid, and I got so confused, and I thought this is ridiculous. I could be here for months, <laughs> penciling it all in. So <laughs> that went out the window. Mm -hmm. Well, my days. Not over busy, but there's things I like to do during the day. <laughs> and sketching that car ain't one of them. <laughs> All day. <laughs> but, and I'm a great believer in um, spontaneity, as you know. Just get on with it. I prefer it that way. That's that, that one. Today's adventure is going to be well, well, I don't know. I thought of, I love them. I'll tell you the story in a bit. Where's it going? Let's share that. Gosh, just a share of thing. It's, I need an AI mouse. Is that a thing? Is that actually a thing? No, <laughs> it won't be on that. I've just. <laughs> Won't even need a mesh, you just tell it. Yes. Uh, well, I think you can do that to a degree now, especially for blind. Uh, yes, you can. You can get where well, you've had forever if you've been able to do that, but um, dictate, write a letter, and give out notes and that. But this is more, it'll tell you what you need to be looking at before you've even thought of looking at it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I see what you're on about. I like the little notice at the top. This is uh, Jesus deck reading free today. <laughs> so they also do tarot reading. <laughs> the hard, the normal thing with this, I, I'm, I'm looking. I was even looking at a park bench today, walking around the. <laughs> the dog i thought what's a park bench you know oh if you look at the um the gallery of um steve lyden's photograph that bench is about 12 foot long oh it's <laughs> in the, uh, he's he's cropped the image at the other end there's two two other people sat there and there's a huge it's really long <laughs> it's in glastonbury oh apparently. Well, I thought that was the Abbey behind, because I know Glastonbury pretty well. And there are rows of um, railings like that. So last night, Mel was sat there, it was about half ten, and I was on Google Maps, driving through uh, Glastonbury, <laughs> trying, to <find> the <laughs> trying to find the, the <laughs> railings in the bench. Mm. After about 50 minutes, I said, oh, Mel, I think we've got, I'll have another go. <laughs> uh, but I will find it. I thought that'd be a great thing to do because a lot of his pictures are Bristol. So and Glastonbury's full of people like that. Mm. Like that. Um, I used to yeah. do, I used to run the market store there, sell me pictures. Oh. I did, and I always did um, the pictures that would sell were things like um, Stonehenge. <laughs> you paint stone ends you'd sell one every week because mm. it's that mystery there's wizards mm. walking around Glastonbury oh yes <laughs> nice people yeah so uh, it's an usual thing though isn't it hands and feet oh my god <laughs> how are we going to achieve it God only knows. So say I did I did a quick sketch. Um have I got a plan? I'll let you know in a minute. Let's have a go. Ooh, 
change my camera first. Still working. I took the, this camera with me walking the dog. <laughs> oh, dear. It's modern. Oh, that's what I know why. Because there was some guy that um, I think he's not right. So didn't have an altercation as such, but he did say something. So I thought, hmm, I'll put this camera in my pocket and see what happens. But I could, I've, it was because I can just put it in my hand. It's quite small, like a little security camera. I gave that up in the, I thought that's just stupid. Just use your phone. <laughs> so I haven't seen him since. So obviously I've upset him. You have, you frightened him off. I must admit, I do have that air about me. It's a bit like a, a lizard. When I get angry and the whole thing goes, <laughs> I, can remember, I remember at, um, I must have said this phase a few times, where I was at Pine Walk and the, it was raining. We're packing our stuff away, sort of five o'clock, quarter to five. Horrible day. And you have to take your pictures up into the hut. And there's a woman there and she was always awkward. And she put her box wheelie box of all the pictures right in the middle of the pathway which is under cover so I couldn't get past and I said can you just and she said can you just walk around and it's, it's a torrential rainstorm out there you know <laughs> I think, you just think my pictures rain paintings wet that don't work so anyway I just I just became Popeye the Sailor Man for a few minutes few seconds and I picked her box up with all the pictures in and went plonk and plonked it over there like that <laughs> normally I couldn't do that hmm. it's amazing I got a reputation after that <laughs> Alan thought it was hilarious she didn't <laughs> she didn't speak to me anyway so it didn't, I never lost a friend <laughs> hmm. In. I've got the right microphone on. Yeah. Oops, I've got the camera. Nothing worse than having to do it all over again. Especially with this subject. Cool. Looking out. Here we go. I got a plan. Carol's not here, so I can't ask her about the background. Sorry, who? Unfortunately. Oh, Carol, of course, yeah. Yeah, Carol, because she's she's my background princess. Tells me what well I also I always ask her and I do listen. Well, I'm going for an early lunch. I'm not hanging about here. Do you want to paint a trap? Just to keep everyone informed. I'm gonna use the mop brush. I'll show you the picture of their painting. And I'm going to paint clean water uh, all around the person. Going to say hello. The hippie. Hello, everybody. You've got, you've got Dylan. Dylan. Hello. Dylan. hello. Morning. Are you painting? No, uh, not today. We, we've got to go to the vets in a minute. Well, later. That's the one. I but you would rather paint last week, so I'm sure. Are you insured? It's a bit expensive, can't it? <laughs> yeah, no, we're not. Just ask Chrissy about that one. <laughs> decided it's cheaper to save the money per year than it is to actually do um, a thingy. Do the ah, thingy. right. <clears throat> I've got some flesh tone. A bit of flesh. Okay. I'm just playing background. Okay, sorry, flesh colour. Person at the moment. I don't want it dark. I don't want it. <coughs> That's the one you'd rather do, isn't it? Dylan might do the car one day. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Right, yeah. Mm. I'll keep it for him. I'm just looking in the background with some flesh at the moment. I thought Gordon, I nearly. Oh, I was going to. I need to talk to Gordon. Oh, what about Gordon? 
was, I was that I got that um guitar. I was going to sell it. Yeah. But I'll Which give you guitar? The, my, my guitar. <laughs> the one on permanent loan. Yeah. Well, well, don't you like it? I don't need it. I thought I'd just put it on Facebook and see if we get a few bob for it. Well, if, if you don't want to carry on, you know that as a present, don't worry. Well, I've, I've set my heart on a particular um, acoustic amplifier, so mm -hmm. I can put it towards that. Yeah, carry on, mate. I haven't got any, I haven't got any room to have it back. Well, it's been, it's out my cabin, log cabin's supposed to be my studio, but it's so cold over the winter, I haven't been out there. What, and you've left my guitar out in the cold? Well, it has got um, a frost heater on, so. Oh, that's good, you're looking after that, sort of. Yeah, it's not, it's not that bad. Well, I have got a lot of respect for guitars. Where's your button for? Guitars. Yeah, I have. Where's your I'm just trying to set some sort. Of, I promise no green. And what have I done? <laughs> what I want the color I've I've um, fallen in love with. Say when again is Terry Harrison's shadow color. So I've been. I started two weeks ago, wasn't it? So I'm starting to use, I think I said to Joyce, the size of this tube is huge. It's not even moved in years. So I'm thinking better address that. Not as much as that one. But you can do so much with it. You can add a little bit of blue to it and it sort of. Yeah, that's the other side. Green is flipping. Right, I got a I'm not worried about anything else behind it. Well, two jobs for you. Good thing about backgrounds. Yeah, you come with us, mate. All right, we're going to disappear with Dylan in a minute. We'll be back later. Okay, I'll probably be here <laughs> till Wednesday afternoon doing this. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will. Right now. Back in a minute. Okay. Right. Good luck. It's horrible, isn't it, taking the dog to vets up? You know, that gives me nightmares because mm. they haven't, they've only got you. That's right. They haven't got any mum and dad. You're their mum and dad to look after them. Yeah. I'm mixing up some burnt umber and blue because I, I put a little bit there and I thought, mm. I didn't like it. But now I've looked at it, I'm thinking it kind of works. Adds a little bit of um, interest. Something going on up here, isn't it? It's a door or something. I just want to do this loose for a reason. I'm almost there. Try and avoid that sign. We want that to stand out, don't we? Bit of blue, I think, into the burnt umber. It's troll watercolour as it fades back, as, so you've got to concentrate. Right, that's fine. Early, early lunch on my mind. Maybe we'll be gone by the time they come back. What about <laughs> that then? Yeah. Right, I'm going to. Concentrate a little bit while I'm here. Block it in. Got a bit of shadow there, haven't we? That goes under. Do this every week. If you don't, or if I don't, I want some blue. I want it bluer. So a little bit of shadow. <laughs> fall off the edge of the chair here. Yeah? Draw that line with your hand. 
water paint, get it to go down to the first line of the bench. Ooh. Now, as I was saying a minute ago, before I got overexcited, sometimes when you're doing watercolours, well, more likely all the time, so much, if you can do it quick, you know, some pop, pop it doesn't have to have that nice sort of fresh spontaneity feel to it. The naivety that you used to get when you first started. Just drop in a few darker bits. It is watercolour, isn't it? You've got to make it look watery. <laughs> Bit burnt number in the dark, but this will do. Uh, we'll have to come back to that. Looks a bit straight line. I could. Now I've got a. Um, I'm a I've decided to do this a different way towards the end. And well, while I'm at it, I might as well carry on. I block it in. Definitely dark now. I must give Terry a call today. I'm not averse to calling him. It's just that I, I have to. If you're listening, Terry, I have to set aside a certain portion of my time. I know Tuesdays it's always so fiddly. Straight down there. This is just clean water. I decided that there was some greenery underneath there. Carry on. That goes across there, doesn't it? It's a reflection of the some it a bit of shadowy colour. Let the water do some work. Add some blue. Then it work. I decided that the the shadow tone out of the tube needs blue in it today. Told you my eyes need sorting. It's drying back up there. Just pop in some more of those dark bits. Anyway. Anyway, the other bloke here. Oh, right, that goes right down, doesn't it? I can hear the dog barking downstairs. The uh, Okado deliveries just turned up. And there's a line. Oh, there's a key line, isn't there? I've drawn shadow. Of... It goes right down to me is... See what I mean? Just adding a little blue to it makes it look fascinating. And the burnt umber, either either, got them in with the shadows. Seems to give it a nice earthy feel to it. He's quite excited that dog, isn't he? Why my feet? Don't wash my feet off. Just move that down a bit. Might be a pencil line to rub out there. Ooh. Stand up, stand up. 
not really what I wanted to do. Mm, hope it's not too stainy. Yeah, that's okay. With my pencil line. Too much water now. Water, water everywhere. That is very faint because it's the curve of the leg and almost needs a bit of flesh tone on there. Okay. Lay a little egg for me. Yeah. Bit of the uh, burnt sienna plaque or the umber. I do love doing that with the old um, with watercolour. Just add in a little bit of um, colour to water and see what happens, especially get some across there. I think. And we'll drop the opposite way, drop some dark into the raw sienna. Mm -hmm. Just carry it across here as well. Same thing. It's great fun. You want to try it? Have go go really fast when you just don't even and don't look at the don't hardly look at the um the reference image. It's got. A, Go with your sort of feeling, haven't you? So, right. Just drop it in. Um, I need some something for the foreground. Really light. I'm going to stick with the colours I've got. Just so happened there was a hint of green in the palette down there so I'm just gonna go with it brushes I've not it's not soaking wet I'm just going with a sort of a dry brush feel to it I always add a little couple of lines of dark into it Stone was the other colour. Well, I was had this June sand colour. Thought I'd just use that. Push it down hard on the brush and let it wiggle its way into existence. Yeah. Don't touch the stone in here. And hmm, it's interesting. Yeah, there is stone in there. Oh, double take there. I had a bit of blindness. Hopefully, it will fade back. Clean water. Just let the clean water drizzle it. Yeah. If not, we'll stick some white on it later. Where's it going? Well, I'm not. The background is the background, isn't it? We're more. Hopefully, we can. Well, I'm sure putting the figure in will tease it all out. But I am trying to be 
um, deliberate and making the any background bits tight up against the figure bits. If anything, I don't mind if they go over a little bit. Otherwise, it, what will happen? The same thing with the car. It will stand. It will look like contrived, like you've put almost like you've painted the figure separate and stuck it on. I'm not too keen on that. Just want it to melt in, blend in nicely. So I'm just going around a little bit of water at the moment. We're off for an early lunch today. <laughs> the green I've got in here is really yucky. I'm just trying to find this. A brush that. Oh, there he is. We use the same brushes all the time, man, don't we? More or less. Raw sienna, I think. And we'll drop in some set to myself. I'll put a pencil line here. I'll drop in some it's gotta be around here somewhere. Raw sienna there. Flick it up. A bit of the green on top of that, or blue. Probably blue. It's raw sienna, isn't it? If we can make it feel like there's some weeds there. Amazing, isn't it? That small brush, I need a smaller one there. So flick it in. In a hair dryer. Flick, 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 flick. Oh, push, flick. Fan brush. No, I haven't got time. I'm in a rush. I'm not really. I'm burbling to myself, but I'm happy. A bit more green. Fan brush. Can flick a few in later. Right, next job. I think it's two. Dry it off. Rinse. Okay. Uh, maybe not. I could just carry on a little bit. So there's a few pieces that I could use. Only thing about it is, I keep putting my hands over the bits that are wet, which is frustrating. It's bracers. Should be a grey, really, shouldn't it? Burnt sienna. Drop of blue. Perhaps. Drop it in while it's wet. We'll add some white to it if I remember later. I want it to stand out, make it look obvious. Tissue. Still got plenty of shadow, so a bit of turquoise blue to it. Let's
decision here about this bench bit. The underside of the bench. I want it to be the same shadow colour as the other. Look a bit different. And it's going to darker. It's almost like a jigsaw puzzle, this picture. So. Oh, come on. Yeah. So. so, at the moment, all I've done is played with shadows. Did put a pencil line there, so it's getting some paint on it. Need to go under there as well, doesn't it? Yeah, we're trying to get the brush to go dry. Should be a bit lighter there. Boys, man, but it's totally good. It has to be dry. It has to make spirits really dry. One of those times where I don't want too much blending. Bleeding, not blending. Should do it. Right, next bit. Going to use a ruler. But before I start, it's a masking tape. Tear off some masking tape. Just want a layer of masking tape close to the edge of the ruler. Won't need two, two layers, just tear it off. Hopefully it'll work. Should work out all right. And uh, my plan is, I've got a watercolour pencil and I'm left-handed, so I'm going to go from left to right. 
Mm. Dip. Let's make a mental note of where I'm starting. I'm going to dip the brush, the pen, pen, pencil in the water, just and tap it off. And then using my straight edge. Don't cross there. The reason I put the tape on is to lift the edge off the um, paper a bit. Otherwise, it, it, it sort of bleeds underneath. Try and vary it. This is a dodgy bit because I've got that little sign there. I'm not sure what colour this pencil is, out of interest. It could be, um, it's not that old machine again, is it? No, nah, I'm sure it's black. But these, these are um, Brunzil. You could be careful though, because if you get paint, uh, paint underneath, as soon as you put it down, you'll get a black line where you don't want one. And it's not the sort of colour that easily. You can wash off. See why I've dried it off? I didn't want it to bleed. Mm -hmm. Well, I do want it to bleed a certain amount. But I wouldn't want it to bleed into the background. Well, if I can avoid it. Right, I'll speed up now. That was good fun. He did it. I was um, a bit worried about my pencil. Pencil lines, whether I could still... See, this sort of works. If you dip it once in the water, it gives a sort of a blobby feel to it. Well, I'm still rubbing my finger up and down there. So what's it? The ruler. Just to take anything that has gone underneath, if it has. I couldn't think of a better way of doing it than this. But... Probably is use a brush and sit down diligently with a brush, but my way. Kind of like the way it's going lobby. I don't mind a few bleeds. Hmm. Well. Do some tidying up at some point. Keep going. Pressing quite hard. Maybe that was my big mistake. Want to stop it bleeding is the hard bit. Then oh, he thought I'd gone over his beard for a minute. Mm -hmm. I don't know how how um fugitive this paint this um. Hence was all. Seems to be okay. I'm just trying it a different way at the moment. I've stopped putting the, dipping it in the water. And the, um, I'm just going on it, keeping going dry. I thought I might just get a 
put the, once I put the paint on, let's go over it with a brush. But you get the drift. Mm. Now I'll have to clear some of these up. It's not a problem. They'll lift it. It'll lift off. Mm. I'm pleased with that. So at some point, you had to define the railings because they're a critical part of the picture, in my mind, because it gives it the, um, the depth, doesn't it? That sort of yeah. Before I go across. There will inevitably, inevitably be some tidying up to be done. She's Grandad's ruler. This this ruler could, could be older than all of us because it was Grandad's. Imagine the, the history of this ruler must be incredible. He's probably thinking, yeah, look where I've ended up. <laughs> <laughs> now there is one, there is a, uh, uh, there is one going just over his shoulder, isn't there? It's sort of a back one, which I'm quite nice to put in. There you go. I don't mind that. So we can always use a, this is watercolour, I can always use a, a rigger at some point just to diddle it along, encourage it, tidy it up at some point. I won't do that now because it could be quite a a busy process. See how fugitive this ink is. <laughs> Not too bad. But you can see that what we're going to have to do at some point is to go through the blobby bits that I created. So there's the lesson for today. Use the pencil dry don't, if you can, or be more cautious, cautious than I was. But that's okay. They'll lift, it lifts off. It's clean water. Lifts off quite well, actually. Let's see, I'm washing it now. But when it's dry, that'll lift off fine. Apart from that, I'll just stuck my hand in a blob of it and encouraged it to go with. Well, very nice. Clean tissue, that's what you need, Dave. Well, cleaner. Yeah. Okay. Let's get a bit more of the I don't know why I'm inclined to put extra in that. Now. Which we can play with in ad infinitum. Well done. I'm really chuffed with that. You know, sometimes you do things you think, mm, is it going to work? Is it not? It hasn't not worked. We've got another um, horizontal line, sort of going through his eye level. I don't know whether you've missed it or whether you're going to come to it. Yeah. 
I'm debating on it. To be quite honest. Okay. I know I'm looking at the picture thinking I'm dubious of I'll, I'll do it. But I was thinking sometimes if you can get away without doing things. Mm. The pencil line is there. I'm only following it. It's a bit like, well, yeah, that's okay. It's a bit like the old thing of um, painting figures in a portrait, in a painting, and having them walking out of the picture. It's that sort of feeling, you know? It, will it work? Will it not? Mm. Go, 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 drink, go. What I did do with this pencil was um, sharpened it with a knife. So it had a, a really long, you know, quite a long point on it so that I, it would last a while. But okay, I can tidy this up over the period of the next few days. Ah, quite sorry for that. Keen. Now then, mister, let's see what happens. Bit of flash. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Let's get rid of that. It's one thing about watercolours, you can never have enough clean tissues. Unless you're Charlie. What's his surname? I forgot. Charlie Definitely. Evans. Yeah, unless you're Charlie Evans, in which case you don't clean your palette or anything for <laughs> months on end anyway, or quite a long, quite a period. That's what he tells me. Actually, he does own up. He does say he'll clean it every so often. Yeah, for every year. Yeah, that's what yeah once a year An annual event yeah i quite i quite like that so stick some flesh to the bone For a minute. Let's go. Ah, naughty boy. Cool. Another shadow there, otherwise, really. I'm just blocking in some fleshy tones. For a minute. You hear children's voices. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Dylan's back. Hello. Hello. I was looking out the window. <laughs> Thinking. The grand puppies have come over. I quite like the the notice on the paper where it says Jesus deck reading today for a year. And I thought, oh, that bloke's 
he looks a bit like Jesus. <laughs> so maybe it's, it's, he's arrived. That's what caught my attention. Right. What flesh are we going to mix up? A little bit of rose madder. A little bit of burnt sienna. Uh, wolf sienna. Let's see if we can get a redder tone. More of a pinkier brush tone. Chop is that that mop brush is so powerful on soaking up paint. Start the top mop the way down. Pop in some look for some darker shades. Don't go mad. That one needs to be turned on. He's got some there. I did put some pencil lines. Oh. Where there were some sort of pinkier shades. So that's, even though it's shadow in between his fingers, it, which, it is flesh shade. Shade thing. It's just not bother looking at the figure, the picture. Let's just go with what feels right. Which invariably means it's wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now here, under this beard thing, the serious bit of shadow. And a little bit of cobalt. Focus to the pinky bit. Works every time, doesn't it? Ding, 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 ding. I've got them all. Oh, you've got them. Cobalt. I've got them in little cases. Turquoise. And a little bit of pink. Gives you that. Shadow tone. Need a rigger. Need a rigger. What did I say? Cobalt blue. Oh, no, man. A little bit more pink colour. This is that nice hot pencil lines there, which are annoying. old ones. Yeah. They're like 1995 cards. Yeah. Most of them. Are you back from the vets? <laughs> He's got his Pokemon cards. Oh, that that you will they're treasured. Prizes, them things. Definite, definite treasure trove. Yeah. <coughs> um, oh, it, we in. bought some for Artie for Christmas, or Mel got him a load. And um, he must have spent several hours on the lounge table. Shed, you know, cataloging them and putting them all in the right orders and everything. Absolutely yeah. fascinating. Mm. I think Mum said that's the most highest concentration she's seen him do for ages. It's just like because they're all they have to be cataloged, don't they? Mm -hmm. And put yeah. in relevant Sorry, orders. <laughs> I was just looking at a picture. Well, I've mixed up. Um, what's that colour? Turquoise, cobalt turquoise with some flesh. Do it there. Look. I've got the pinky flesh, which I made out of wolf sienna and rose madder. Can you and added some blue. 
Wash that, just is it? Turquoise to it. Just this, that sort of skin. If you're going to talk, you'll have to go out there. Um, sort of colour. Interrupting their art. Now, just. If you sit there, you've got to be. Cool. Using a rigger to whack in. Because Dave's trying to teach. Bits of hair. You've only got to get up and walk over there. It is a watercolour, so I'm never going to get the depth of. Still is a tea yeah. that you would from an acrylic or an oil. So I'm conscious of not of not trying to get that. That effect. Ding ding. Yeah. Okay. Makes a nice shadow tone though. So it's a lesson learned today. Same though, because you won't be able to get in touch with it. So, so. How far has Dave got with this picture? Well, it's looking good, isn't it? I'm it's just really going to use it everywhere, really. I've made some pencil lines on his shorts, but I int you intuitively, you know instinctively, don't you, that there's going to be a, a dark, shadowy type look, uh, tone where the shorts meet the, meet the legs, where they end up. So you can Instinctively whack a few there. Got to be careful with that belt. Yeah, one one there. Otherwise, we'll lose it. Sorry, everyone. I quite like the old ones. I was painting in reverse to, to what we normally would with watercolour. Trying to find shady bits first. Totally Need a bit of tissue on that arm. Just there. And then add a little bit of shadowy bit to it instead. Sophie thing works. And then I penciled where I figured the fingers were, so in between them. A little bit of shadow. Oh, don't forget the feet. <laughs> oh gosh, I ain't got down that far yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, they were lower points in there. That one? Yes, that one. Punch. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That one's so bold. Some of that. Yeah, yeah, I quite like those. There. Yeah. They're simple. They come out of cases, they do. Mm -hmm. You just pull them like that. Well done. Oh, mm -hmm. well, they protect them. Mm -hmm. Using the rigor. Well, yeah, if they're older, they need looking after. Like me, I need looking after. <laughs> Just gonna put a, <clears throat> a hint of pinky bits there for his beard, uh, mouth area. This is too dark, you know. Put plenty of creamy tissue floating around. Wanna take a bit of that off. And add a bit more of the fish tone there. Huh? Probably, I've put a pencil line there, that's the issue. Need to jet wash. Because it's actually his neck, isn't it? It's a bit loud, isn't it? Mm. Then it's a sort of shadow. A little door. Huh? No, line. No, what about it? Is it important? No. Why? Why did you spray it and wash it? Well, you shouldn't have done. <laughs> he gets carried away with his water. Because it's so wet. <laughs> that is lovely. Rain. Yeah, it's not meant to. I was going to get more plants back in there. <clears throat> if they sort the plants out. Yeah. Dry off and then add a little bit more to it. Oh, yeah. I remember it because you didn't have the like sound. 
Oh, no, I don't want that. It's too damp there at the moment. Okay, I know that. Oh, you were. Oh one seven four six. All right, I don't answer phone calls. I very often it, it might be Terry. <laughs> no, I don't think so. His number is known to my phone. Saying Margaret's not well again. Yeah, she's been in hospital, and well, she is in hospital. And... I think she's still in there. Yeah. Yeah. Terry so, so needs a bit of um, yeah. TLC at the moment. Yeah. Right. She'll mix up a colour for his. Sure, I suppose. Rose madder and some blue, do you think? Oh my gosh, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Terry. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, What's that one? Puts it back to the beginning. Put rose matter. Try that. Blue. And a little bit of blue. Puts it back to the start. Doesn't happen much. Well, actually, if you hold it, it's not. Exactly, doesn't it? Going back to where it's oh, I don't know. I'm going to use three brushes. You That's this it. one, oh, the rigger, okay. and the. Um... Well, yours is a bit different. This is a bit different. Yours yeah, is bigger it's a different at the back. make. It's a different make. Yours is bigger at the back. Is it? Oh, that one. Yeah, Pure squirrel. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Little, that. Like that one. But over this side, not go away. Why is that coming out? Clean water. Press the button. No, no, just press another one. That should be this one. Yeah, it's coming out. Mm. It's the one Gordon uses all the time. Actually. Oh, blimey. That's why it's really loud. Hmm. Oh, yeah. We, I don't like it. He's a bit like that. That's a lie. You've got to do the whole lot first. Um, it's the same down here, isn't it? Everywhere but the braces. You want to? Right. That's clean chair. Pop in some paint. Start at the top, work my way down, otherwise I'll stick my fingers in it. I'm going to need it. Why is he getting huh? Why is he getting just to make sure he's okay, then. Can we get you a jab? Um, she might. What for? Am I doing it wrong? If Dylan? Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like Dylan's saying he's doing that wrong. <laughs> no, he's talking about the dog. Ah, uh, is he back from the vet? No, we're going to take him this afternoon. All oh, right. But I think he'll be all right. I'm sure he's going to get over it. Well, but Gordy said he was eating, so. Yeah, that's the main thing. I bet it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. As soon as they stop eating, that's. And, and he'd lost the use of his legs. Now mm. they don't want to go outside. No, no, no they're aching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was quite scary. So upsetting, that's the thing. You know it's got to happen, but. He won't stop sleeping. Yeah, not yet. No. He's in bed every day. Yeah, that. Mm, yeah. Oh, I've got to get my flowers back. Oh, they're going to be drowned. Why is he drowning? Next job. A bit more of that shadow, I think. I quite like that. Mixing the shadow up like that. 
It's cobalt blue. A smidgen of rose madder. A little tinge of raw sienna. Gives it a nice little shadowy tone. Doing oh, hours. Well, not to do yeah. it. See, a bit of patience. Yeah. Surprising what you can do. He's um, put some flowering bits in here. Yep. Look for the shadowy areas. Right, one. Plants. Yeah. <coughs> oh, I see plants. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Them ones. They're all right. Yeah. I'll just sort of bring them up here. Why? Much water. So you go get our plants. Mm -hmm. Think she's getting our plants. Yeah. Righto, Dylan. Jesus, not Dylan. Yeehaw. I'm running out of the nice fresh colour that I created. I was quite enjoying that. One trick pony. Raw sienna. A little bit of rose madder. I think a bit of raw sitting in the flesh, a bit too much of it. There's the colour. A bit of water. A bit more burnt sienna. Just trying to match the bit. There's a dribble of it on the side of the palette. I'm just trying to get somewhere near that. <coughs> Started and put them in. Not far away. Not started. Okay. Need a darker shade. They were still on the. Um, but... Add a few <laughs> interesting this bits to it. That that's to feed the orchids when they come back. Rigger, where are you? When they come back. Where are they? Put some pencil lines where the toes are. So. Here in the sink. I'm just going to want that on there. The ones that live on that team. Where's the iPad? Oh, 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 where's the Dave Harvey got it off of the internet. off the internet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought you might like that one. Mm -hmm. The phantom car. Don't screw it up though, because I'm doing it as well. Right there. Um, oh, what? Think about this other foot. Oh, you doing it up? Oh, That's how far I got. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I can't draw. Draw her shadowy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can draw. Yeah. Have a, well, now it's like a curly bit there. Draw it if you want. Look. Hmm? Just build it up and I was How many toes has he got? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Clean up Oh, he's cleaning it. Oh, he's cleaning it. Oh, he's cleaning it. Don't like him doing it. It's a bit dangerous. Mm. Down now. Get a bigger brush. Get the water. Get the flesh on it. And go over the top. Blend it in with some more water. I want to lift a bit off of that if I want. Ooh, excuse me. Fell off the end of my brush then. 
unusual. Just waiting for this to dry or soak into the paper a bit. Add a little bit of Oh. Tell you what, this oh. gardening lark is such good fun. Oh, is it that one? Yeah. Such rewarding, isn't it? Oh, yeah. it they're like they're like the pets, aren't they? You can't they, you've got to look after them. Oh. Sort of thing. I haven't been able to touch mine since October when I hurt my wrist. Oh. And uh, I spent quite a few hours out there this week and oh my back. <laughs> That's always the weeds, weeds, weeds. <laughs> I discovered something yesterday. Well, this morning. When was it last night? Um, my compost. I've got two compost um, bins, you know, uh, containers. You buy them, the big black square thing, green square things. And mm -hmm. um, I opened one yesterday. put some stuff in and it was like loads of um slugs and snails in there so i rushed upstairs to, to find out are they good in the compost and it's the general consensus is yeah they're okay just leave them alone and they they break it down that's what their job is they help break it down and they'll stay there instead of going in the garden so i've taken them at their word on that to wait for a so if, if there's any slugs or snails around the garden, I'm going to put a sign up saying this way to the compost and live. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get. Don't worry, we'll get it later. What's that lady on Gardener's question to, uh, on the program on TV? Short, from up north. Been there for a few years. Don't know. Cause a spade a spade, like oh no, you don't want that of you want some of that. And um her, I remember listening to her on Gardener's Question Time or whatever it was, and her is her um suggestion was um what do you do about stuff if it moves and it's not helpful to the plant, you you squidge it. That Not was her advice. Yeah. She's, if it moves and it and she didn't know what it was, or you're not sure, give it a squidge it. And I thought, well, that's a bit. Because you could be squidging things that are good, you know. We don't want to go that way. I must admit, well, I spent, <laughs> can you remember last year I was going on about it? I put in all the, the, um, slugs and snails in the garden waste bin and if you opened it there were flipping hundreds of them in there i mean it was oh, it was real gross i suppose in a way clean water that was on there i'm just dropping in some color on his shorts hopefully i can distinguish it a bit from yeah, I, I, there was, but this year the ones I've, that are out on my plants, I have been squishing them. I've got some garlic um, plants. They're quite big. They're like almost like I mean, sweet corns as they grow so tall and strong. And there was loads of them on there like the other night. I mean, I've never seen, I can't imagine how many snails, there are giant snails on there. I lost count after, after, after squidging half a dozen, you know. I've got lupins. I've got them growing. 
I found some seeds, so I've, I've, I'm having a go with some lupins. This time I'm, I'm going to put them in big containers rather than in the grounds. You can, they, you can grow them in containers, apparently. If I can get them to grow substantial before I even think about putting them in the border. I'm just doodling now. Playing with a bit of dry brush work in the hands. Okay. This is this today has all been all been all been about <laughs> playing with shadow. For um, yeah. well. It's just a bit of um, turquoise blue on there. Run away in a minute. And same there. Oh, there she goes. Try and <laughs> wriggle it out. We need some more shadow, which was fleshy tone. Let's try this other brush. All you can do really is try and eke out some shadows to bring out the <laughs> subject. You stay in the air, Benson. <clears throat> yeah. I've got another one of um the one we did last week with the uh, what came up the best word derelict car. I've got a uh, I found another one, but it's a boat. Hence the reason I said I, I think it might be next week. I'm not sure. No, a couple of weeks time. Thought it'd be a good idea. It's a similar thing, but it's a boat, rusty. There at the boat. I'm gonna have a go at that. Tidy up time, I think. Find even more shadows. A bit like um What do you call it? The nursery school. Tom Dylan up to draw the car. You've got say that again? Just gonna go and draw the car. Oh brilliant. Gonna sit him on the other table at your question. <laughs> <laughs> it's great that that he's got you know taken a shine to it. Like you say, time to do his A levels in something else. <laughs> or whatever they do these days. Not art. You need a backup plan. Worse than the music industry. <laughs> I think David um, went to college to do fine furniture making and ended up doing what he's doing. Kathy went to college doing um, photography and graphic design and ended up as a chef. <laughs> That's the problem, isn't it? It's what's in your heart isn't doesn't put it on the table. Nope. <laughs> Voting on Thursday. Yep. Well, not for me. So I did. For, I did. We did postal vote. Gosh, that, was, that was complicated at all. You got no. to put it in this envelope, 
sign it on this, put it in that envelope. Doom, glory. <laughs> it was quite, it was quite fiddly in the end. So, but well, I did it. Now, give me destructions. No, not like that. Do that, darling. <laughs> <laughs> well, not quite as polite as that. Mm. I've got a little bit of fresh air there. <coughs> Let's boil it. When in doubt. I can't stress enough over the weeks that these watercolors they dry out over quite a period of time over, over the week they dry out so different you, you look at it you think oh, I didn't paint that little bits of interest sort of appear out of well, I've blocked it in anyway, so I've done quite a bit of the groundwork. You can get some lovely colours with that turquoise blue. This bench reminds me of one of my projects. I've had it out. I've been cast iron bench ends like on these these bits that you just put the wood in and make your own bench. I acquired it years ago and I've been looking after it for ages with the plan of you know get some wood and I've actually got the wood to do it or I bought it recently and when I looked at it ready to sort of have a go the um the cast iron legs and that they rusted right the way through so unless i got a welding tool there was no way i would have been able to use it anyway so it's been rotted around the garden in the shed for i don't, I don't know how many years 20 a lot of years and all that time it was no bloody good anyway i would never know unless i've got them a welding thing. So that was a waste of bloody time, wasn't it? A dry brush here and there. Just following my heart now. Wow. Well, Natural instinct. I'll put some distance between me and the photograph. Oh, I think what I have forgot. It's going to make a bit of difference, I think. Again, cobalt turquoise seems to be the, the theme colour today. Which is, well, I expect I was waiting for his toes to. No. Oh, yeah. No. It's all right. I painted something somewhere that I recalled from sketching isn't part of the sandal. Got my brush here. Bit more of that shadowy. Um, 
that one's fine. Can you use that paper because it's a bit more than that? The other papers are the same bits in there. And a nice little line there. Really? Stand still. Yes. Uh, discovered snails eat rhubarb leaves. The swines. How are you oh. lupins? Eh? How are you lupins this year? I say I, so I had some seed left over. So, mm -hmm. I, so I've sowed them in little mini cloche things that I've got from somewhere. And uh, they've come up. You have to soak them for sort of 28 hours, 24 hours first, the little rascals. I've got, you know, I'm doing, it looks good out there, but it is a bit early. Everyone's saying don't plant anything out until the end of May anyway, because it's a, it's a cooler spring than normal. Saying that. I haven't worn a jumper for a few days now. That's no, really warm, hasn't it? I haven't had the heating on. I've, I've switched that off. A few, day, well, quite a few days ago now. Mm. Has it even said anything around the house? Like it's been cold or anything. Right. Body up there. There's a busy painting. This a busy, busy, busy painting. Poor old Carol. I can't believe that. Another one. Just... Yeah. Thank you, Terry Harrison, for the lovely shadow. Daughter. Nice. Well, that's a, a little bit of the sun. Poor little thing. Isn't that grey? Not really. Up there, burnt uh, cobalt blue and whatever colour that was. Rose meadow, I think. Right. Yeah, that's one of one, two, three, four, five of them. Why are you not on your mind? Okay. I'm getting bored now, you know that. Starting to get bored. Which is dangerous. Because it means I'm Okay. Right, now then, start from the line. Start from the line. That's it, that's good. Now, one, two, three, four. You get the 
Yeah, but it's dry brush. And sometimes there's quite a bit of character. Yeah, it's okay. I've got a lot of tidying up to do on the the railings and just lifting off paint when it's dried. But other than that, hmm. do a bit more. Here and there. Classic one now is burnt umber. And then from here, I think I made my um, paint sweat last night, so they certainly hydrated well. Burnt umber and blue. Classic black, watercolour black. And then decide where you want it. Add some extra blocks here and there. Use any more. You have a ringer. Mm. Okay, if you've got opaque paint, okay. you put a layer of thing in it. Cancels everything else, everything that's behind it. But yeah. watercolor, you don't, don't get that. I don't know what that is in there, but definitely some sort of foliage. Blooming weeds, that's what it is. In that case, in that case, you can have a little dab of yellow on it. Ooh, that's a bit. Too much water. Never mind. Try again. Neat paint. There you go. Weeds. We hate weeds. I don't mind. Right. And you've got Dylan off after the next three days. I think he wants to play football with his mates after. Do you? The thing I was going to do was... About two a quarter past half past three. That's his quarter to three, I think. I'll check it out.
right, and you can feel the bits in the front. Right? So you've got like that bit of shape on there. And because it's running away from you, it kind of looks a little bit smaller at the back. And that gives you the impression that that's closer to you because it's bigger. And that bit there is smaller because it's possibly further away. Perspective is what we call it. Can I get a cup of tea on this, please? Well, yeah, and I'll bring it over. To, no, I'll bring it over to you. Have they finished it? Or is there a... I don't know. I've taken photographs. Ah! Oops, so he's doing it quite well. <coughs> he's very quiet at the moment, Anne. I'm concentrating. Sorry. Yeah. And thought you'd gone to get your dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was concentrating. Oh, I've had that trouble. Don't happen very often. I was I was just thinking, that's all. Or well, shall I add some um some white bits here and there? But I think I'm satisfied with it as it is. And um at some point as it's when it gets bone dry i'll um I, I won't add paint to it i'll lift color off just to try and well just to highlight oh blimey that was bad that was <laughs> bad i didn't want that i was talking about lifting color off and i'm going to put this bloody layer of black on it <laughs> <laughs> Lock me up and throw away the clue. No, you can have a go now. I'm bored with this. I'm gonna, I'm good. There's loads of bits I'm, I'm gonna have to tease out over the next. Here's a you keep forgetting that your well, tendency is that it's a, a watercolor, it's not a, a solid. I don't know what color that is. Mm gold mm. well another challenge mm. i haven't i haven't done it yet but on here it says mm. i was trying to find i think it might be that yeah i've got a little liner pen here it's really fine so when i penciled in the letters Jesus deck reading. Is it, I mean, to do this in a short time is quite remarkable, really. I'm quite proud of myself. Three. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, just doing that tells the picture even more i can i can spend hours or quite a, a long time tidying this up but i don't particularly don't think <clears throat> I, do. I think it's it's okay a few bits of well <laughs> for example i like to examples of what I might do. One of the things I've got, if I can get it in here. Pencil shot now. No, I'm not advertising. Oh gosh, put it in there. I can't get it in. Well, they don't grow downhill. It's a pencil sharp sharp. <laughs> but I've got a flesh pen pencil. So I can quite easily when it's it doesn't work while well, it's still damp but when it's dried off any bits that look a bit pasty or whatever i can just go over it and tidy it up but it won't work very well now because everything's really damp i've, I've said it before and i've said it again i'll prove it you, you can use flesh anywhere Mm. The other colour you can use, uh, 
where is it gone? I had it in my hand a minute there. There. This is gold. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You learn something new every day. No, it's, it's a 6B pencil. Somewhere over the rainbow, I've got a gold one. And you can yeah, I thought it was there, but it's gone. It's gone walkabout. But there's a gold pen uh, watercolour pencil as well. And that, that works really well to add interest and colour and lighten stuff up or improve buildings, shadows and all that sort of stuff. The best way to it goes really nice and dry. Works quite well. And if you've got clean water on a brush, you can spread it and sort of blend it right in. Works really well. I do it quite often for the final painting later on in the week when it's dried off. There you go. Early lunch. You might tidy that yeah. bit up there as well. But there's some, uh, some of it is some um, pencil, but I can't rub it out now because it's, mm. well, I won't. I'll wait till it goes bone dry, then rub it out and be surprised what sort of a difference it makes. It's a few spitty, spotty bits here and there. It's just a watercolour. It's not a blooming life, live or die thing. So treat it as such. I like the sign though. Yeah, clever. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Well, because it wasn't, it isn't, I don't think it's deliberate. The, um, hang on, there's a, I've got a little bit of string on it. I don't think it was deliberate in the photograph to have that sign, I, I, because that sign is in some of the other photographs without that figure in oh, I see. so it's not he hasn't mm -hmm. put but it looks like he's jesus and he's put that <laughs> sign up there so that people could come and have a have a reading yeah. but it, i think the sign was already there <laughs> and hey, yeah i've got something dylan's been drawing up over the uh period while you've been working can you see it no yeah hang on i don't know if you can see it if it's very pale might have to take a picture of it. I have to check the spotlight. Oh yeah, I can see it. It's very, it's a bit faint. Probably wants. Oh, that's to very good. Yeah, yeah. Puts us all to shame. He's done that in court. Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Where is it? Oh, that. Hang on. Oh, he's going to put it on the big. There you go. There you go. Do you want to see it, Dylan? Wow. Very good indeed. Yeah, very good. Well done, Dylan. When I've been driving in my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, mate. It's very good. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh, enjoy your combination weekend, everybody. Oh, yeah. You too. Yeah. I don't, uh, don't quite know what I'll be doing, but they've got um, a big screen and a cream tea around at the community centre. So I might go around there rather than sitting watching it on my own. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> yes. I think it's Union Jack. That's very good. Oh, you? yes. Yes, I have to fish my bunting out. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not, I don't go out celebrating it, but I will watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I think the, the weather doesn't look very good for Saturday, does it? Not it? Yeah. It'd, be, it'd be fine here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just sat watching it on TV. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You should watch it. You should be proud of it, really, because it is our. I thought if you, everyone no. that sort of says, oh, I think you haven't read history. No. You don't no, know it's... where we come from. Where where it all started? You go back to, um, I don't know, nine hundred, eight hundred, ten sixty six, then Henry the first, Henry the second, up to, and you go through all that, 
and you as then you get to see where it all kept, where we came from and what what started it and, and a lot of it Really good morning. Aren't and the reasons that it is what it is, the way it is today, and what we gained and how it was, it's. I don't think it's fantastic. Mm. How far things have changed, mm. but all those rules and laws, and um, you can talk about soaks and um, land was done in hundreds and things like that and. Who owned who and who is is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. A lot of it came from France anyway. Well, Rome, Normandy. One of the parts. Par par so, on that note, I've got to go. So I'm going to the How long did it? I told you early lunch. I didn't do it. I knew I wouldn't. No, I knew yeah. you wouldn't. <laughs> it's never early lunch. <laughs> if you can do a, a four-day painting in an hour, you're doing really well. Well, yes, you do very well. <laughs> then, anyway, you know, I did start it saying that, that, that you want to try and do it really fast. Concentrate on the figure, leave it to the end, do the figure really well, but the rest of it just yeah, impressionistic. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, I think I might, I might have to try that this time. <laughs> Con yeah, concentrate on the figure. And the railings give it that 3D depth a bit as well. So, yeah. that looks the easy oh. bit, that I think I can do the railings all right. <laughs> yeah. Just do it with the dry wipe brush. Yeah. <laughs> Worked all right. I'm pleased about that. Mm. Sorry, got to go to the doorbell. <laughs> all right. Okay, well, I'm going to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're we're going, I think. So thank you very much, Dave. See you next yeah. week. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, <laughs> thank good you. Luck. Might need it. <laughs> Enjoy cheddar round the board. Thank you. It's oh, all yeah, right. Have a nice time. <laughs> Bye. 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 Save your love, my darling. Save your love. Summer nights with moon and stars above Serenade I long to see Reddest rose I'll always bring Save your love for Roma and for me How I felt to love and hold you Love like ours will surely last eternally Salva la morra cara, salva la morra. La morte stella luna lesse l'eau. Serenade I long to sing you, reddest rose I'll always bring you. Salva la morra per Roma re por me. Say
Savior love, my darling Savior love. Le notte stella, luna stella su, a serenade I long to sing, red as rose I'll always bring, Savior love for Roma and for <laughs> I want a nice green.